Greetings and welcome to Let's Cook TV, an edutainment TV program which features international menus which are fast, easy, and delicious. If you're dreaming of being a chef or running a restaurant business, this is the right place for you. I have to say, Lita, you're looking particularly lovely today with these wonderful bright colors, the blues and the yellow. Oh, thank you. Today I'm inspired by the sea. Ah. Somewhere beyond the sea, someone's waiting for me. I can probably guess it has to do with the theme of today's menus maybe, right? Oh, that's right. You always know me. Yeah. Today we're going to create two lip-smacking seafood recipes. So, seafood lovers out there, you shouldn't miss. That sounds very exciting and I can't wait to see these mouth-watering seafood menus right after the break. Yes. How long can I keep the sauce before it spoils? Well, uh, if you keep it in the refrigerator, it'll last about a week. We're going to take some of our variety of our seafood here and just put it on there. All right. Okay. Mm. Tastes really good, huh? This is so delicious. Let's go. Welcome back to the show and our main dish recipe. Today we're thrilled to show you how to make seafood, seafood baguette, baguette pizza. pizza. All right, so okay. first what of all, what are the ingredients? Absolutely, got to go over what we're cooking with. So we have some tomato sauce, mm -hmm. some dried oregano, mm -hmm. olive oil, black pepper, a little bit of sugar, some freshly diced tomato, rosemary, rosemary. and some finely diced onions. Seafood baguette pizza, of course we need a baguette and then we have homemade pizza sauce, mixed cooked seafood and mozzarella cheese and dry oregano. So to get started, we want to have a, a saucepan on about medium to low heat. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start to combine these and cook them together. So you're going to need your olive oil, okay. your diced onions, and the dried oregano as well. You know, oregano is one of my favorite herbs. It has a strong and unique and yet pleasant smell. Believe it or not, oregano has been used as medicine and in cooking for thousands of years. Yeah, that's right. Besides having this wonderful aroma, it's packed full of things like antioxidants and antibacterial agents. Great for fighting infections as well. Oregano can also help treat the common skin conditions such as acne and dandruff. So as you can see here, the onions are becoming nice and translucent. Now's the time to add in our tomato sauce and our diced tomatoes. Okay. So here we go, we're gonna add this in. Do be careful though, because if you're using cold tomato sauce and hot oil, it will splatter in front of you, so just be careful with that. How long can I keep the sauce before it splats? Well, uh, if you keep it in the refrigerator, it'll last about a week, uh, but you can freeze it and it will keep up to three months. Ooh, cool. Long time, right? So at this point, I'm going to turn up the heat to about medium. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add actually a little bit of ground pepper. This is where you can actually change the recipe a little if you'd like. A little less, a little more. A little bit of ground pepper in there. And also some sugar. Now, you might not sugar. think sugar is a part of this recipe, but because there's a lot of acid within the tomatoes, mm -hmm. you need a little bit of sweetener to be able to counteract that. So we're just going to add in some sugar Interesting. here. Now you can guess there's still one more ingredient to add. What is it? Rosemary. Yeah, right again. Mm -hmm. We're using fresh rosemary today, so we can actually add a lot. But our dried oregano, is, since it's so concentrated, it's about a four to one ratio versus fresh versus dried herbs. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to take is just add these into there. 
Make sure not to get the stem. You just want the leaves. So you just take your finger and you just run it down away there. Pinch it in there. Actually, rosemary is another herb just like uh, similar to oregano. It's found in the Mediterranean and has been used for thousands of years. It's a great source of iron and calcium and even B6. And we're just going to simmer this for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Make sure that you're stirring it because you don't want it to burn on the bottom of the pan. I think our sauce is ready to go. Oh, I think you're right. So time to take it off the heat again. We don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm. All right, now our sauce here has actually been cooking for about 30 minutes. You see it's that wonderful dark rich color there for mm -hmm. us. Next step on the list is making our pizza base. Now we're not going to create thin and crusty pizza dough from scratch. I actually have a real easy but delicious shortcut. We're using baguettes. 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 Yeah. One, oh, look how beautiful that is. And again, you can easily get a baguette at any big supermarket. If you don't have baguette, you can use any other types of bread. Now what we're going to do first is we're going to cut this baguette into small little rounds. Diagonally though, so we can maximize the surface area. Mm -hmm. One important note though, whenever we're handling food, always make sure you've washed your hands, which we have. And also when you're dealing with knives, do be careful if there's small children around. Now this is a bread knife and it's important you use a bread knife when cutting baguettes because you don't want to squish the bread, you want to cut through it. And you can mm. tell because it's got the serrations on there, right? Oh, yeah. And we're going to cut diagonal. Yeah, so you can see there, see how easy the knife goes through the baguette there. We have our baguettes sliced up. Mm -hmm. Now's the time to putting it all together. Now what you need to do first is we want to make sure that we kind of make sure that they don't dry out when they're in the oven. So I actually have some olive oil here. You can use some, some melted butter as well, but we're just going to brush these baguettes lightly with a, a little coating on there. So I'm going to use one of those brushes, dip it in there, just put a, a very thin coating on each one. So the next is our homemade pizza sauce. And now you want to be careful not to add too much sauce here, right? That's probably one of the biggest mistakes people is they load up on sauce, but there's gonna be a lot of ingredients on there. Don't want anything falling off. And we're gonna take some of our variety of our seafood here and just put it on there. So don't worry about using your hands. Do make sure you've washed them though. And again, we're just gonna pile them on there. A little bit of shrimp, maybe some scallops, some squid. It's really up to you what your, what your personal preference is. So we wanna add in a little cheese. Just sprinkle them? Just sprinkle. Just be careful though because you don't want the cheese to actually fall off in the oven, right? Mm. Because what will happen is it'll, it'll, melt. it'll melt, it'll actually burn on the pan. So the next step is we're going to line a baking tray with aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to preheat our oven to around 180 degrees Celsius. It's only going to take about 10 minutes to Ten cook minutes. it. So now we have our tray Baking with our time. seafood baguette pizzas. Baking time, absolutely. So into the oven they go, 10 minutes, we'll be ready to eat. Hey Yuan, I think our pizzas is ready. I think you're right, time to take it out of the oven. All right. Be careful though, because it is going to be really hot. It's extremely hot. Ooh. Wow, look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Perfect. It's fantastic. You can smell it already. Oh, wonderful. So now we just want to plate it up and get ready for the best part of the show. Tasting time. The tasting time. So let's take some of these. Oh, that's wonderful. We'll just take one. Mm -hmm. Maybe one more on there for you. Ooh, it's hot. Put a little garnish on the plate. We always want to make it look really good, so I'm just going to take some of these tomatoes here. One there. Get some nice greenery on it. All right. And Ooh. rosemary. Put a piece of some rosemary in there. Where do you want me to put it? Yeah, wherever you think it looks nice. Maybe a couple, a couple sprigs in there. Yeah, why not? Wow, you can really smell those wonderful Mediterranean herbs. There you go, perfect. So incredible. 
Let's see if they taste as good as it looks. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Good, huh? <laughs> Sorry to make you guys hungry at home, but it's one of the privileges of cooking it yourselves. So uh, don't go away though, because while we're enjoying some of our wonderful seafood baguette pizzas, we'll be right back after the break with the CIY or cook it yourself menu. I want to try one of these myself. Mm. This is so crispy and tasty mm. and full of flavor. Welcome back to our CIY or cook it yourself menu. Well, to follow up that delicious pizza, what's coming up next? Sizzling garlic prawns. Wonderful, that's gonna be a fantastic yeah. dish. And let's look at the ingredients first. Mm -hmm. You can't have a sizzling prawns without the prawns. So of course we have some beautiful fresh prawns here. A little bit of paprika, mm -hmm. olive, olive oil, oil, some black pepper, some finely chopped garlic, fresh parsley, a little bit of lemon, butter, and salt. Garlic, can you remember from the previous show? I once told you that I hate a tomato, but my mom encouraged me to eat them. Garlic is also one of the things that I hate it, but because of being aware of the benefits, I generally try to eat them and I became a fan of garlic dishes. Well, that's wonderful because garlic is one of those superfoods. Just like when we talked about honey, mm -hmm. it actually has a special compound in it called allicin, which helps lower cholesterol and the risk of heart disease, lower your blood pressure, not only that, it has lots of nutrients, things like potassium, yeah, potassium, B6, iron. And also garlic help boost immune system. If you eat garlic regularly, you can just say goodbye to the common flu and cold. All right, let's get cooking. It's gonna cook really fast though, so you're gonna to wanna to watch closely. What we're gonna start off with is a large frying pan. We're gonna turn it on about medium to high heat here. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's nice and warm. Again, always be careful around a hot stove, like we are. And we're gonna add in our olive oil okay. and the butter. Butter. Then to that, we're gonna add in our diced garlic. Add it all in, because like we said, it's good for you, huh? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna saute it for maybe about a couple minutes. We just want to cook the garlic a little. Be careful not to burn it. It cooks very quickly. I'm going to clean this up. All right. You can see there, wow, all that wonderful aroma coming out there. You can smell the butter and the garlic. <laughs> I love the smell. All right. So? So at this stage, now we're going to add in our fresh prawns. Now be careful when handling raw seafood especially. If you are gonna use your hands, make sure they are washed and wash them, especially after you've handled them. But today, I'm just gonna use my, my spatula here and we just add in the prawns. It's gonna happen quickly, guys, so watch closely. All right. They're yeah. turning pink now. Yeah, it happens very quickly and you wanna be careful because nothing's worse than having overcooked shrimp. Mm -hmm. Just gonna flip these over. Make sure it's all wonderful there. Mm. Wow, look at that. While I'm doing this, we're actually gonna add a little fresh lemon juice to this. Can you cut me uh, a half of that lemon up? Sure. Perfect. All right. I think they're just about done. Mmm, mm, perfect. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn off the heat now because I don't wanna overcook them. 
what I'm gonna do is add a little pinch of the paprika, I'll add a little bit of spice on there and a little bit of color. Not too much though. Uh, and also we'll add in as well, well, we'll wait on that. Add in our fresh parsley at the very end there. Add some color. You can see there, wow. It looks oh, so delicious. Wonderful pink color on there. All right. So what I'm gonna need is actually is a plate. A plate? Yep. A plate and a spoon. There you go. And a Perfect. Spoon. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put these wonderful prawns into my plate. Mm -hmm. Plate these up. There we go, mound it all up. All right, have that lemon? Perfect. Yep. I so take I'm, all the seats. This is a nice quick sauce to do. I'm just gonna Squeeze, Squeeze in some lemon juice here. Squeeze, Squeeze that in there. <laughs> the smell is so amazing. If you see, if you find any seeds in there, you can just oh. remove them. It's nice and easy. It's not going to take that long. Lemon and seafood always goes well together. It really heightens up that smell. And with that garlic and the parsley in there, mm -hmm. it's perfect. Only takes a couple seconds. Prawns. Wonderful garlic in there. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little more of our paprika, pinch a little on there, add a little more of the color on it. Mm. Sizzling garlic prong. And let's put a little bit of a more fresh parsley in. You have a bigger sprig there? Two. There we go, perfect. All right, well done. So there we have it, our wonderful prawns, garlic sizzling prawns. Easy, fast, and delicious. And delicious. Now it's tasting time. Absolutely. Time to dig in. Ladies first. Thank you. Sure. Mm. Tastes really good, huh? This is so delicious. Mm. A bit spicy, but I love it. Mmm. Don't go away, guys. It's not the end of the show yet. We'll be right back with our three words a day. Welcome back to the Let's Cook classroom. Today we're going to pick three words which are related to cooking and get to know each word closely. Now the first word is... Baguette. Baguette. Now a baguette, otherwise known as a French stick, is a traditional French mm -hmm. bread that is made with yeast, flour, salt, and water. Mm -hmm. Now the perfect type of baguette is crispy on the outside but slightly chewy on the inside. And if you look at the holes on there, they're irregular shape because of the long time that the yeast takes to rise. I actually have a real easy but delicious shortcut. We're using baguettes. 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 Yeah. One, oh, look how beautiful that is. And again, you can easily get a baguette at any big supermarket. Now the second word is mozzarella. Mozzarella. Well, here we have some whole mozzarella and this is the shredded one that mm -hmm. we also used in our pizza. Yes. So where does mozzarella come from? Well, mozzarella actually comes from southern Italy and is traditionally made from water buffalo milk, which is three times more expensive than cow's milk. It's a very popular cheese to use in many different dishes like we use today in pizza, but you can also use it in other Italian dishes like caprese, where buffalo mozzarella is one half of the dish. Homemade pizza sauce, mixed cooked seafood and mozzarella cheese. Now the last word of the day is can you rosemary. Read? Rosemary, and if you remember, rosemary was one of those wonderful herbs to help you in ancient Greece with your memory there. 
It's a very woody fragrant, but almost kind of an evergreen needles on there. You'll find the flowers on them have blue, white, purple. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very delicious, very fragrant as well, huh? Yes. Actually, rosemary is another herb just like uh, similar to oregano. It's found in the Mediterranean and has been mm -hmm. used for thousands of years. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our seafood menus today. Remember, all these wonderful international dishes, they're fast. Easy. They're easy and, and delicious. delicious, absolutely. And if you want to see our full recipes, please do visit us to our official website, letscook.com.mn. And if you're not at home to watch the TV, you can always check us out at Let's Cook live streaming TV on MITV online via your mobile or tablet device. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more updates. Yeah, and why not take a picture of all these wonderful dishes that you're cooking at home? Just post it on Instagram with the hashtag Let's Cook TV Show. Yes. So, thank you for watching and Let's, let's cook. cook! If you're dreaming of being a run... Come on! So you obviously need some It's a strong and unique yet pleasant smell. Now if you missed us Today we're gonna pick the <laughs> Yeah, now a baguette, uh, uh, baguette. is uh, otherwise known as a French strick. Strick? <laughs> it's to rise. And a baguette is the most popular type of bread in France. <laughs> <laughs>